Warhammer 40k has often been viewed through a satirical lens, and rightly so. With its extensive history, the franchise naturally incorporates numerous references and satirical elements. However, there's another side to the coin. The vastness of the Warhammer 40k universe brings both challenges and opportunities. One such opportunity lies in the flexibility to shift the tone of the world at the author's discretion. The universe of Warhammer 40k is remarkably versatile in terms of genres. It can delve into cosmic and body horror with the likes of Chaos Gods and Tyranids, explore mysteries through the lens of the Inquisition, unravel political intrigue with the Assassin Temples, or deliver classic action-packed tales featuring the iconic Space Marines. Each facet contributes to the richness of the setting, elevating it to a league of its own. The purpose of this discussion is to emphasize that there's undeniably room for comedy and satire within the Warhammer 40k universe, provided it's executed skillfully. Personally, I find the Noise Marines to be a prime example of this balance. From their aesthetics to their lore, they embody both the terrifying and comedic aspects of the world. Today, let's embark on a journey into their lore, uncovering what makes the Noise Marines so captivating and distinctive in the grim darkness of the 41st millennium. The Noise Marines are Chaos Space Marines, deeply devoted to the Chaos God Slanesh. Primarily associated with the Emperor's Children Traitor Legion, they also find allegiance among other Slanesh worshipping warbands. Their signature lies in wielding devastating sonic weapons, unleashing cacophonous assaults that disorient and demoralize enemy ranks in a chaotic display of overwhelming sound and explosive fury. The roots of Noise Marines trace back to the era when the Primarch Fulgrim and his Emperor's Children Legion first succumbed to the seductive whispers of Slanesh just prior to the onset of the Horus Heresy. Inspired by the rituals of the chaos-tainted tribes of Davin, Warmaster Horus introduced Fulgrim and his inner circle to extravagant feasts and intoxicating substances, initiating them into a realm of indulgence and pleasure. Enthralled by the euphoric revelries, the officers of the Emperor's children disseminated these debauched customs throughout their legion. Thus began the insidious spread of the cult of Slanesh within the Third Legion. Since those formative days, the Emperor's children have relentlessly pursued every conceivable excess and perversion, pushing the limits of both mind and body in a quest for ecstatic gratification. The Noise Marines are extremely hedonistic, wholly committed to exploring the furthest reaches of sensation. Each has spent centuries ensnared in the service of Slanesh, their bodies warped by ceaseless devotion until only the most extreme experiences can arouse satisfaction in their pleasure-addled minds. Their every thought is consumed by self-indulgence, their imaginations brimming with visions of reckless and depraved delights. In addition to the superhuman physiology of the Astartes, Noise Marines possess an extraordinary sense of hearing, a blasphemous boon from Slanesh himself. Their auditory acuity surpasses that of ordinary mortals, discerning nuances within the most chaotic clamor. Yet this blessing twists their perceptions, imbuing even the harshest sounds with sensations of euphoria and emotion, intensifying with volume and frequency. For a Noise Marine, the battlefield serves as the ultimate symphony of sensation. Amidst the tumult of combat and the cries of the dying, their minds are consumed by a euphoric frenzy unmatched by any other experience. Yet, even the deafening cacophony of war fails to satiate them entirely, prompting them to augment the chaos with devastating blasts from their sonic weaponry. Devoted entirely to the Prince of Pleasure, Noise Marines are infamous for their unfettered depravity. While their brutal onslaughts often leave no survivors, they occasionally require sacrifices for their unspeakable rituals to appease Slanesh. 
Victims of these rituals endure damnation, subjected to the horrors of their captors' twisted imaginations. Fear holds no sway over these servants of Slanesh. They revel in inflicting pain as much as they delight in experiencing it. Yet, they do not rush towards death, preferring instead to savor the myriad delights of chaos. They eagerly accept Slanesh's gifts, seeking out demonic entities and warlords who can offer new excesses. Many envy the seeming immortality of demons in Slanesh's service, aspiring to achieve demonhood and the boundless freedom it promises. The sonic armaments utilized by the Noise Marines traces its lineage to the musical instruments devised by the renowned composer Beka Kinska of Terror. Kinska, a jaded musician and seeker of heightened sensations, accompanied the Emperor's Children's 28th Expeditionary Fleet during the Great Crusade. Seduced by Slanesh, she sought to capture the enchanting sounds she encountered within the Temple of Lyran, culminating in her magnum opus, the Maravilia. Performed aboard the battle barge pride of the Emperor, the Maravilia unleashed a cacophony that bridged reality and the warp, directly channeling Slanesh's power. As mayhem erupted among the audience, chaos mutations ran rampant, stirring uncontrollable emotions and igniting both hedonistic revelry and savage violence. In the throes of this chaos, several Emperor's children of starters, moved by the music's dark allure, seized the instruments. Through their untrained manipulation, they discovered the instrument's destructive potential imbued by chaos. Armed with these modified sonic weapons, they became the first noise marines, wielding chaotic power on the battlefield of Istvan V during the drop site massacre. Organizing into a unit known as the Cacophony under third captain Marius Varosean's command, the noise marines continued their deviant path in service to their patron deity. Over years of conflict with the Imperium, they honed their senses to a razor edge, finding solace only in the chaos of battle and the agonized cries of the dying. Regardless of their allegiance to faction, warband, or traitor legion, Noise Marines don power armor adorned in a dazzling array of vibrant colors. Pinks, blacks, and purples swirl in eccentric patterns across every surface of their armor, from legs to gauntlets, helmet to shoulder plates. Their senses, distorted by excess, find only the most extravagant hues and designs pleasing to their jaded minds. While the sharp report of a bolter rings sweetly in a noise marine's ears, many specialize in wielding an assortment of exotic sound-based weaponry. Foremost among these is the Sonic Blaster. Yet, champions among these hedonistic warriors favor the Blastmaster and Doom Siren. These weapons unleash deafening barrages, disintegrating targets with psychosonic waves of extreme frequency. Grotesque mutations or surgical alterations, revered as gifts of Slanesh, are commonplace among all devoted to the Dark Prince. Noise Marines of Slanesh, their senses numbed by centuries of indulgence, crave only the most extreme sensations, thus their affinity for sonic weapons. The tumultuous roar of battle evokes visceral emotional responses in these warriors. Sonic weapons harness this chaos, delivering explosive, pyrotechnic devastation with each discharge. Their arsenal is surreal, their energies capable of penetrating solid barriers without loss of potency. These weapons are not merely fired, but played like infernal instruments, unleashing waves of resonating noise that assault the senses. A noise marine can manipulate these sonic barrages, coaxing deeper frequencies or discordant wails that rend targets asunder. Driven by a primal urge to witness the carnage firsthand, they unleash waves of crippling harmonics even as they advance, rupturing organs and bursting eyeballs regardless of the foe's armor. In the sea of souls, and ghostly melody flows, 
a grand composition resonating with myriad tones and frequencies. Within its harmonies lie the anguished wails of the damned, intertwined with the ecstatic screams of pleasure and sensation. This symphony traverses the Empyrean, transcending the bounds of time and space itself. Originating from the ancient Eldari, it is the very song that birthed Slanish into existence. Noise marines, devout servants of Slanish, join their voices to this divine chorus, viewing it as an essential communion with their depraved deity. They consider themselves as fragments of their god, perpetually entwined with the music as long as they contribute to its resonance. The song echoes through the annals of time, encompassing the voices of the long-deceased, lost and doomed Eldari civilization, a race once mighty in the galaxy. This is the Song of Slanish, inexorably linked to the deity itself. Without the song, Slanesh's essence might wane, and without Slanesh, the song would have never existed. For noise marines, nothing else holds significance. The song of Slanesh reigns supreme. They disregard all other matters, including the customary infighting among Chaos warbands. To them, the music must never cease. After all, the quiet offends Slanesh. The noise marines embody a perfect amalgamation of whimsical visuals and grimdark themes. After all, Warhammer is meant to be enjoyable, and they epitomize this notion impeccably. Inspired by punk and heavy metal subcultures, their appearance, along with their employment of sonic weaponry and pyrotechnic assaults, exudes a sense of satire that resonates with me. What are your thoughts on them? I'd love to hear your opinions in the comments below. Anyway, that wraps it up for today. Wishing you all a fantastic week.